Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to come on and talk about, um, you know, the fiery trials that we have to go through and we must endure as uh, believers of Christ, believers of the word of God. I wanted to come on and encourage you because if it's anything that's uh, happening right now, it is the wearing out of the saints. All right, it's the wearing out of the saints. And I'm here to let you know and encourage you, listen, Whatever it is that you're going through, Jesus has already been through it. Whatever it is that you're going through in this moment in time, in this moment in life, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who suffered on the cross for us, who suffered for our sins, he's already been through that. He's already went through it. And everything, look, he took care of it all for us on the cross, okay? So I want to come to you out of the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, starting at verse 1. Verse 1 through verse 19. Okay, I'm going to read the whole entire chapter to you. But just remember, whatever it is that we're going through, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, by the works that took place on the cross, he has already been through that. All right? So I just wanted to encourage y'all in that so that y'all would know, you know, just stay encouraged and stay strengthened in this time. All right? So I'm going to restart at verse of starting chapter 4, verses 1 through verses 19 in the book of 1 Peter. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he has suffered in the flesh and has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live in the rest of his time in the flesh to lust of men, but to the will of God. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles, when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable, ab, abominable idolatries, wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. Who shall give an account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to the to men in the flesh but live according to the to God in the spirit but the end of all things is at hand be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer and above all things have fervent charity among yourselves for charity shall cover the multitude of sins use hospitality one to another without grudging as every man has received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. All right, let me go back to verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God gives, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, chapter, ver chapter 4, verse 12. Okay, this has gotten me through so much, y'all. This has gotten me through a lot. Chapter 4, verse starting with verse 12, it has helped me a lot. And I want to put emphasis on this. Verse 12 through verse 19. All right? Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you on their part he is evil spoken of but on your part he is glorified but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters yet if any man suffer as a Christian let him not be ashamed but let him glorify God on this behalf for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel be? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I praise God for his living word. I praise God for the word. Y'all, I praise God for the word. Listen, listen. 
Think it not strange when the fiery trial is to try you, as though some strange thing has happened unto you. Think it not strange. Think it not strange, okay? For the for the glory of God resteth upon you, okay? Y'all listen, be encouraged in this hour. Be encouraged in this hour, y'all. Don't give up. Keep fighting the fight. Keep the faith. Don't give up, okay? Don't throw in the towel. This is no time. No time to throw in the towel and to give up. God has not brought you this far for you to give up. You have come so far. Don't give up. As I encourage you, I encourage myself. And I give all praise, honor, and glory to God. For he is good. He is good. And he will never leave and he will never forsake us. He will never leave and he will never forsake us. Okay? Don't give up. Don't give up. He has brought you too far. All right? So you you go and read it for yourself also. Chapter 4 of 1 Peter, verses 1 through verses 19. And I put emphasis of course, on the whole word of God, but this is what has really helped me. Verses 12 through verses 19, that has really helped me and it has sustained me because it's the living word of God. It's the true word of God. It's, it's God himself speaking to me because this is his word, okay? All right, God bless y'all. God bless y'all and God bless y'all. Y'all be encouraged in the word and you make sure that you put on the whole armor of God so that you're able to withstand the wiles of the enemy in this evil day. And a part of that armor, y'all, is the helmet of salvation. Okay, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, shod in your feet with the preparation of the gospel. Y'all, the wearing out of the saints is coming. The wearing out of the saints is coming. But be encouraged. Be encouraged through the word of God. You want to hear God speak to you? Go to his holy word, y'all. Go to his holy word. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. And I hope that this, this right here would encourage somebody out there. Somebody, somebody's going to be encouraged from this. Okay, because I'm encouraged from it. All right. God bless y'all. God bless, God bless. I can't give up.